I, 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 you may learn the hard way, uh, some of the lessons I learned. But what happened is uh, I went to Japan. I was talking to some people about trying to save the company by saying, look, the technology works, it's, it does this gizmo. It was, it was measuring voltages very fast, but it didn't matter for most people. And the guy goes, well, well, can you actually check uh, flat panel displays with this? And I thought I lost the meeting. But it made me think, I took a weekend, changed the technology, and what happened over the span of six months is the company completely turned around, we got new investments, brought the company public, and uh, the highest point, it was, uh, it was, it was uh, almost a billion dollars. So it was, it was absolutely from, I would say, never give up. Even though it looked absolutely hopeless, you never know, you just never know. I mean, that really weird off the wall questions could actually be something that gives you another door. You know, and that door, you know, once you open it, it's, uh, you know, it can be a very good thing. For me, um, like I mentioned earlier, I live in the East Coast, um, and I start looking out for jobs. And uh, I used to work for a Sprint r and division. Um, it was fine, but it got bought by Alcatel, and things got really slow. Um, if you have worked for something like Africa, you will recognize that uh, uh, they take uh, one and a half months of vacation off, um, go on a trip, and uh, they post. Yes, the French, yes. Uh, they <laughs> post you to utilize. <laughs> uh, they're very smart people, though. Uh, they post you to utilize all the technology that is uh, built in house. Um, and uh, it, it, it kind of gets you uh, because even if it's valid or not, and so it, it was a tough time. So then I decided I need to change. Um, and I look around, I was in Washington, D.C. area uh, at that time. There were, weren't that many jobs. Nothing seemed interesting. Everything seemed boring. Uh, and then I told my husband, I think it's time. I'm going to move to the West Coast, and you're coming. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty much that. <laughs> I think that's an aha moment for your husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh moment, yes. Uh, and then, uh, uh, obviously, I had a 12 year old uh, son, a uh, uh, 10 year old, 11 year old son at that time, and he was really good in tennis. Uh, uh, top in his division, um, who started to cry, I don't want to leave, uh, what happens to my tennis? Uh, and then I had a six-year-old uh, daughter, so it was a tough thing, but so I ended up calling, uh, of course, 911 mom, and said, uh, you need to come here, uh, I want to make a change, and I need you to be here, because I'm leaving, <laughs> I'm going out. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go to the West Coast, too, and I have finding a job and moving to the West Coast. So um, she moved in, uh, she came in, um, and I did find a job uh, uh, with a company called Four Systems, a um, networking company, um, and I moved. And uh, I was uh, commuting every week. Uh, I was asking my husband to make the change, find another job, and of course, um, things went wrong in the place where he was and said, okay, I guess it's time to. <laughs> And uh, he found another uh, job here in a startup company, and we picked up and we moved. So for me, um, it was one of the best uh, decisions. Uh, the fact that I recognized that this is the right place. So for every one of us who are living here uh, and love technology, um, I believe we are very lucky, and we need to utilize it to the best extent. Was very well said, Gita. Aha! I should say that. <laughs> You know, I, I think I have several, but I'll, as I was thinking as, as the folks were talking, there's one moment I can talk about. You know, I'm not, I'm Indian, but I'm not from India. I'm Malaysian, but I'm not a Malay. I came to the U.S. a long time ago, and when I went to school in Santa Barbara, I met my wife there, and I hung around with basically people from India. And all of them are engineers, and I was the biology major, right? And there's no hope of a biology student, early 80s, getting a job in the US.
So then I went to UCLA, I should have said earlier, um, and I got an MBA in finance. But even those days, getting a job here with an MBA in finance is unheard of, because you're a foreigner. Engineers, yes. There were a lot of engineers getting jobs in Silicon Valley. Anyway, as luck would have it, uh, I interviewed, I was told there's no way you're going to get a job. Uh, AMD, they were expanding here in the Silicon Valley, offered me a job, and I got a job. And I was like, this is not supposed to happen, right? So I got an offer, $30,500 a year. I was like, that's a lot of money, right? So I decided to go on a three month vacation because those days, if you want to take a vacation and go anywhere, you use your own money. You don't go to parents and say, buy me a ticket to here, go here, there. So I made, made a trip. I had a brother in London, I visited him. I went to India for the first time ever. And I decided I have to go back to my ancestral home, the village in India. I'm from Punjab. My ancestors were from Punjab. I showed up there, I met my grandfather's brother. And he asked me, so why did, what are you doing? Where did you go study? And it's very typical of Indian grandparents who ask you every detail about you, right down to where you studied, are you married, do you plan to get married, what do you plan to do? And then I told him about my job. And he called over his grandsons and made them sit around him and say, look at this guy, he's my brother's grandson who went to Malaysia a long time ago, he's got a job in the US, and then he wanted to know 30,500, what does it translate to in rupees? Right? And he told all the grandchildren, that's his salary in a year. And you know, at that moment, what went through my mind is some way, somehow, I have to quote unquote make it. I have to work out, I have to do something. And that was one of the moments that I remember always in terms of the motivation. Right? And I did go back after five years to go and visit him again. Right, because that was a very motivating moment for me. Thank you. Um, I think my aha moment was the time I decided to take a risk. So I, uh, a couple of years back, I decided to quit a very cushy job. I'd always worked for uh, a company for someone else. And then, I don't know, one day I woke up and I just said, I'm going to start my own company. Um, so I just quit this job and took a risk, um, not knowing really what I was going to do. But I think that was my first aha moment that it's okay to take a risk. And then the second one was just dare to be different. So I knew I wanted to build apps for women and um, something around location. But everybody was building a restaurant finder and a bar finder and whatever finder. So I decided I'm going to build a bathroom finder. So I built a mobile bathroom finder called Ms. P. And everybody thought I was crazy. They're like, why would you do a bathroom finder? That's ridiculous. It's like from Seinfeld, right? Um, so, you know, we just went ahead and we, we made that app and um, we had over a million users in less than nine months and eventually we ended up selling the, the, the um, basically Miss Bean to Charmin. So, it all worked out and I think that was my aha moment that it's okay to take risks and it's totally okay to be different no matter how ridiculous the idea is. Uh, thank you for sharing all your aha moments. So, we'll finish up with one last question and it's, um, what would your advice be to the youth here today? Wow, uh, that's a loaded one, but um, yeah, I think I would have three pieces of advice really. One is back, just take risks, right? You're young, this is the time you can take risks. Just really dare to be different. Um, and I think we, we talked about having a mentor. I, you know, I'm here where I am today because of really, really great mentors all along especially at coupons.com where I work. Um, I got promoted really, really quickly, um, again, because of the mentor that I had within the company who recognized, um, you know, for, for whatever reason, the work I was doing.